Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm um, very good, thanks. Awesome. Okay, so I think the sound works nice. Yep. yep. Okay. Very good. Now, mate, I've had a good run since last week. I've only played, I think, half a dozen games, but I've won five of them. And I'm up to, from Silver League Tier 3 to Silver League Tier 1. Okay, awesome. So, yeah, really good. I would I would call that progress, to be honest. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, let me yes, just I'll... log into America. Okay. So should I be playing on the Asian servers, or is that just full of Korean dudes who'll smash me? I, I actually think that's a myth. Okay. Um, uh, it, it, I mean, th there are people always saying, yeah, uh, Korean over Europe, over NA, over SEA, but I'm, I'm not quite sure if it really works like that. Yeah, okay. I, I think if you are Master League in Europe, you can also be Master League in, in Korea. Maybe it's yeah. different for, for the, for the Grand Master League, if, if all the Korean pros are playing there, but, Nowadays, I I don't think that 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 what what was the chain I I don't remember like yeah yeah okay. yep. uh no I think it's it's just, you just can you, yeah what whatever server works best for you where you have the lowest uh ping uh, the high no what's it shortest the ping. shortest ping yes exactly uh go yeah. for it and that should be totally fine. Okay. Well, there you are. Sweet. And you said you have some replays you want to show me. Or do you want yeah. to... Play what again. Why what don't what what we watch the one that I've lost? Because that's probably the best one to bloody learn from. Yep, it? exactly. So I make you to the leader, and you can open the replay, and then you can give me in the lobby the host, so I can speed up things and such. So, but you need to open the replay. Okay. That just doesn't tell me which ones I've lost and which ones I've won. Yeah, that's the problem. Ah, uh, that's really annoying. Okay. So you either need to remember or, you, or we need to go through them. Wait, we have the match history. Which one? We have we have one loss on Dreamcatcher against a Terran. Cryptic? Yes, a Terran named Cryptic here. Cryptic, it is. yes. So I choose watch with others, is that right? Yep. Okay. Correct. And what else do I have to do? Um, wait. Until I joined. And yeah, now you just right click on me in the lobby and make me to host. Promote to leader, promote to host, something like that. Promote to leader, there we go. Uh, no, that was in the group, I mean, I meant in the lobby. That's oh, two different things. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of confusion. Uh, I know. Here we go. Promote to lobby host. Yeah, there perfect. Okay, so I can Sorry I can that. no problem. So I can speed up things and go back and do stuff like that. So Terran seemed to be my my worst matchup at the moment. I did win a Terran matchup this morning, but the bloke he wasn't very good. Okay. So. Yeah, Terran can be quite of difficult to defeat because of, I guess, Stim is very powerful. Tanks yep. can be very difficult for you to deal with. Yeah, and they they seem to have a lot of them have pretty good harass as well, and that's one of my yeah. things. If people don't harass me, I can build up a decent economy. But if I get harassed too much, I just I, I lose it pretty easily. Too. Yeah, I see. Okay, so let's see what's what's going on here. 
So yeah, that's 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 the good scout with the after the gateway. That's perfect. Yeah, so I've been doing that as my standard now. And instead yeah. of just checking out the other base, I've been checking for a lot more cheese and trying to be pretty active with it too. Yes, that's that's actually pretty smart. I like it. And uh, there's one other replay I can show you where it actually paid off and I, I, I won with some good scouting. Yes, that should be good. It's good to see. I mean, later on you need to... Oh, yeah, okay. You need to... Uh, um, when you send the probe in like that with the shift command, most yep. people will just do that but not actually look at the opponent's base one time. So yeah, okay. make sure to remember yourself... Oh. I did scout him, now I need to look at his base and see what the probe collected for data. Um, in this yeah, case yeah. everything seems normal, but for example yeah. if, he, if you see a second gas being taken with your probe, but you just uh, look at his base at minute 3 for example, it's way yeah. too late. So this yeah. is one thing you need to have in your mind, if you shift command your probe, it's good if you scout, but you actually need to look at his base at some point. Yeah. So yep. don't forget about that. Yep. Here it's here it's nice. What you yep, also I've can got that wall off working properly now too, so. Ah perfect, I like it. Um what you also can do against Terran, not so much against um Zerg, is you could with your initial probe let's go back a little bit. Okay, um if you if you are at this stage of the game, you have already queued up your probe a, a lot uh, to different locations you want to go, yep. which is fine. But what you can do, uh, just in case, mm, it it depends a little bit on your on your uh, I would say multitasking. If you can, I don't know when exactly you will look at the space. Um, the earlier the better. So now you are at like 120 would be a good uh, benchmark for you on this map because of the path yeah, okay. to, to scout. Yep. What you can do is with the probe um, at his natural like shift click yep. a circle three, four, five, six times. Yeah. Um, yep. It will show you if he wants to take a base or not and the probe should get out soon enough to not get killed by the reaper. Yeah, okay. So you delay his command center while your nexus, because normally, I don't know, um, you, you play nexus after core. Yes. Yes. And if you watch at his expansion and your expansion, um, his yeah, will be earlier. Yeah. yeah. And normally, if you play a standard, like, Protoss uh, gate expand, which you are not, you play something different, which is totally fine. But if you would play a Protoss Gate Expand, your Nexus would be earlier. And you could delay his command center even further, which will be annoying for him. Yep. So, what you also can do, um, if you want to, which some guys in Master League do, um, they, if after the probe left his natural base, they they park it like here or maybe on that edge and yeah, one minute yeah. one minute after they parked it they go in again because if the reaper is out it will be half across the map yeah and then he needs so to decide come home. yeah either come home and kill the probe which is good for you because then he doesn't scout you um or you get a free scout, you know, okay, maybe you can see is there a triple rex coming or f standard factory or maybe he's playing the 211 with two uh, barracks, one factory, one starport, which is a really aggressive opening with uh, two yep. medivacs and stim at five minutes, which hits really hard. And if you yep. scout that with the probe, then you can be prepared with shield batteries um, and sentry for guardian shield and so on. So that that's one thing you could keep in mind. I don't think it's needed in Silver or Gold League. There you can most likely just focus on your own game, macro up as good as you can, be defensive, don't take it's damage from harassment. Is it worth dropping a pile on at his natural, or is that just wasted? It, it's wasted. I wouldn't do it. 
Okay. What yep. you later on can do is maybe have a pylon here at the fourth base location. Yep. Uh, or maybe up there. So if you see him is taking a third base with an observer, for example, um, then you can warp in, for example, salads if you have salad charge and yep. Harris's his base. Most likely you do that. So uh, we, we lastly talk about um, the observer positioning in the last session. Yep. And if you have your observer in a matter uh, that you see his army, and you see his army is gone, or you see it, in best case, you see it move across the map, so you know it's coming, and then you can just warp in like eight salads, a click to the natural, uh, or to the third base, and then he needs to, he needs to think, can I deal with that? Do I need to get back? Because whenever he moves out, and you can force him to come back, that's your, your window where you can move out. So you yep. can you can choose where to fight, when to fight. If you see his army moving across the map, warp in a bunch of salads or maybe adepts works as well. I wouldn't go for stalker, but adept or salads are good. Harris the space, make him to make a decision. You force him to decide: do I go back or do I attack? If he attacks, he takes economic damage. Damage, he's all in. You just need to defend. If he comes back, you can. Choose what target, what what base you want to attack, where you would want to to have your uh, your force and so on. You can prepare, and maybe you can catch him off guard. For example, if his if you attack his third base with salads, and he comes back to defend, his army will clump between the mineral fields. They will be stacked up on each other, and there is where your splash damage, where like Colossus or or High Templar can deal massive damage because you will surprise him. So that's that's really really important. Okay. So he's the and <laughs> perfect. I don't know if he plays it, but you see he's playing the second barracks, which is very unusual. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So he does it now with one gas, which is totally fine if he would choose to go for another gas gas. And you see his reaper is half half across the map. Yeah, okay. So if you yep. wait now 10 seconds more than we would be by at, at 225, 220, and you send then the probe in again, you get yep. the perfect scout, unless he walls off with the depot, but still then you can go up the ramp and see, uh oh, second barracks, potential aggression. Yep. So yep. it's it's definitely a chance you can take. So he's left his SCV there outside my natural too, and, and I have yeah. no idea. So I was doing some scouting, but not. It wasn't awesome. I mean, your scouting wasn't bad, to be honest. It was okay. So he gets the probe. Yeah. But I have to say, with this build, with the robotics, your your nexus is really late uh, yeah. compared to other build order and games I get to see. But it's not a problem. The, the 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 most important part for you is to make it work, whatever works for you, and that's that's the yeah. thing. You don't need to play now like a professional. That's that's not. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be your goal for now. For now, it should be your goal to make the game fun for you, and potentially win as many games as possible with it. Yeah. That would be my goal. Yeah. Just going with the early expo, I just for some reason just could not. <laughs> I didn't win a single game. Yeah, so that's um, that's so the thing. On, on this map, in particularly when I've been playing Terrence, I've been leaving a couple of stalkers in at my home base. Perfect. So yeah. Drop a or because I, you know, people send the reapers in and stuff. I've been leaving, trying to split up the army a bit early on. Yes. So I was out in front of supply, but he's overtaken as well and triple. Yeah, he got the expansion on his way. That's that's the problem. Right now he's ahead like stop, ten we'll SUVs, yeah. yep. and he has double and mule. I, I think he stays that way for the whole game too much. Mm. And normally, if you play Protoss, you want to be ten probes ahead, so you are basically twenty probes behind what you would like to be normally. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I've just missed his uh, his drop with my observer there. Yeah. 
I see. Oh, well, but I've got some pylons in decent positions at least, but I don't know how, how wide awake I was. Yeah, uh, what you can do is, you if, if you are not certain about, um, for, for now you have the observer queued in. Yep. Um, but after that the robotics stays uh, idle for a long time. Yeah. So you just you have the gas, you can queue up another observer. It wouldn't harm yep. you. Uh, because the robotics is now idle for like 20 seconds, yeah. 30 seconds already. And it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt you to have two or three observer. Like one for your army, one for your base, like for the drop to spot it. Yep. So so normally I would say four observer is what you should have minimum. So one for your yeah. One for your uh, natural, one for your main base, one for your army, and one for his base. And yeah, then you have yeah. really good vision, because you are safe at your bases, you see when he moves out, and your army is safe against Cloaked Ghost, Benji, Dark Templar against Protoss, uh, Burrowed Banelings, uh, and so on. Yep, so, yep. so you can, just can see a lot. Ah, that wasn't so bad. I could have, yeah, I could have reacted better though. I could have got that buddy. But you know, didn't lose too much, so it's it's totally yeah, exactly. fine. So that's yeah. that's that's nice. Um, what some protos do is at some point they get a cannon in the mineral line, or and that's probably what I should have done there. I've it got a it it account, really so. it really helps against harassment. You also can go if you really want to to go for a cannon and a shield battery, which will yeah. help you a lot. The cannon will live so long unless he drops like four medivacs full of stint marines but that's another thing that's where you have the observer for um but it will live so long that you have the time to react properly yep. and you got the income not the income but you got the the minerals yeah you're right yeah so it it can help so i'm still way behind on Probes here, and I think yeah. I'm, he killed my probes up with my gas, and it takes me minutes to realize that. In my mm. main base, I've got none in my assimilator there, and it takes me a few oh, minutes yeah. to yeah. realize. So I fix it up, but I, I, it's probably another five minutes till I notice it, to be honest. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's that's important. You, as, as process, especially, you need the gas. I mean, salads can be nice, but without gas, it's really difficult. Yeah. Um, the observer is not in a bad spot, but I would maybe have it up the cliff there, and then use the surveillance yeah, sorry, mode. That's, where I've got it there isn't my best spot. Normally, I put it just on top of where the, he's just dropping those marines now. That would be a pretty good and position, I, I, do I would say. It normally. Yeah. So, I was a bit flustered in this game because of that harassment. I mean, you can also shift uh, commands, like you can shift the movement and then shift the surveillance mode. Yes. So it will yep. move there and then unfold itself. And you don't need yep. to look anymore um, to it to do it. Of course, you should look sometimes at the, your observer to see what he got, how are his upgrades. If you click on his marines, for example, you can see his upgrades. Yep. Um, that, that can be important at some point, but... Yeah, for now it's just having the vision. It's the more vision you got, the less he can surprise you. Yeah. Oh, and of course, yeah, with the with the um, the worker 21 at of 16 at the main base, the saturation needs to be fixed as well. Yeah. 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 See, I still haven't fixed up that assimilator yet either. Yeah. Still got, still got no one in there, so. At least you're spending your chrono boost somewhat decent. That's not bad, I'm, but I'm getting better and better at doing that. Now. Yes, but you need to work on your pro production. Your Nexi are so idle for such a long time, and as I said, normally now your third base should be up and running completely in a perfect game. Yeah. So you you can you can. I mean, with the build you play now, it's delayed, of course. Yep. But at least the natural should be fully operational. So you you can you, you have still a lot of uh, room for improvement in terms of your uh, macro. Yeah. 
But I like that you get salad charge. That's really strong. Yeah, that's been been really good. So I've been playing a lot of an army that looks like this. But once I've got two or three immortals, I'm switching to Colossus after that. So yeah. Colossus charge lot with some stalkers to take out any air army. It's so quite it's strong. Been pretty good. Yeah. Uh, what what others are playing, which, which you can try out as well at some point, maybe. But then you need definitely the gas. Is if you go for Charge Lord, Immortal, Storm. Uh, not yes. Immortal, not yep. Immortal, uh, Archon, sorry. So Charge Archon. Lord, Archon, Storm. Which is quite strong. You have the feedback and the storm against the drops, Medivax. You can warp in some Stalker. I mean, Stalker with Blink should always be researched at some point. Yep. So in this case, Blink, I mean, you don't have many Stalker, but for example, if you want to catch a Medivac or intercept it, Blink is yeah, very, very Medivac. strong. And yep. you also will need it against the Liberator to to jump in yep. and snipe them out. And um, normally I do do that, but I think this game I was a bit mineral starved and I didn't. And he does send over um, some of those things that were asked you for. Yes. Exactly. Yes, this is... And Blink would good. help quite a bit. So really zones me out here yeah yes that's that that's where you're where you're so um, be sweet. of course and if you would have placed a uh, pile in here or maybe there that would have helped a lot because now he's he's um, attacking you he's um, keeping you in base but you can harass if you look back at his base just imagine how many gates do you have now so you are at four you could have gone up yeah. to 7 if you have the perfect saturation on both bases. Yep. And if you then just warp in a lot of salads and in this game you don't have to two that early on the way. But yep. if you would have 2-2 two, two charge lots, uh, the small force back at home would be no match at all for you. You could deal so much damage there. Yep. You can also use a warp prism if you want to. It also works. Yeah. Yep. And, and so it, I didn't realize he's parked outside my base here at this point in time. I thought this yeah. was just a little bit more harassed than it was to those liberators. And they took a lot of my attention. Yeah, so I see. Lost it a bit here. But you are catching up in upgrades, that's good. Yeah. It's just camped outside my base there mm. and I didn't realize quite how far behind I was. I mean I'm catching up in supply here but I'm still way behind on economy. Yes, that's that's the thing. Oh Yep. So again I didn't I didn't scout and that was that's, silly on my part. That's where your observer comes in. And you have one with your army now. Yeah. So I could have even just sent a probe or something. To us. Yeah, so it was Or crazy. use the observer you have because that's what it's meant to do. Observe yeah, the yeah. opponent's army. That's where the name comes from. It yeah. observes things you need to know. Yeah. And yeah, he's he's locking down the ramp quite heavily. That's really annoying. Yeah. So I think I try to send out a probe too to expand, but yeah, he's within range of his tanks. So I'm yes. in a bit of trouble here because I've realised I need to expand at some point soon. I like the the uh, DT shrine. It's a nice way to try to break free. Well, it's because I knew I was in trouble, so I thought I need to do a bit of cheese here. Yeah, no, it's it's a. I like it because it tells me you are thinking of your game. You're not on um, autopilot. Yeah. You are. You and I are did actually. To do a little bit of damage and annoy him, but it was, yeah. just wasn't enough to make a difference. Look, I'm 50 supply down here, so it was just a bit too late. So what you could have done because he's not getting an, another. Um, Orbital command, which is a bad part of, of him. What you can do if you go for DTs and he doesn't have a raven, don't send in four at once, send yeah, them in one, at one by one. At some yeah, point he will fine. run out of scans and then he needs to pull back or attack or do something, otherwise you will snag more and more of his army. So I like the way of DTs. It's it's a it's a nice addition. But let's see how exactly you're using them. Yeah, I think I made a mistake of sending yeah, there was the probe. So that was, that was my probe that was going mm -hmm. to expand. And see, this is where I'm in a lot of trouble. Yes. I don't have anything here. 
Um, that's that's really it's got those problematic. Raiders. I don't have a Stargate, so I can't use any Tempest to take them out. That's the other thing I could have done if my yeah. economy was better. Build a few Tempests and it would have been pretty sweet. Okay. So let's see. He and slowly. I should have realized I was in big trouble now and build a few shield batteries as well. So there's a few bad decisions I made here. Yeah. You also walked in stock instead of DT. So there comes one DT. So I had the Raiders, so I thought I'm in trouble. Yes. So I actually sent the DT across the map to stuff up his economy because otherwise he'll just scan and kill this dude. And I, w I thought maybe I can get him to run home. Ah, uh, yeah, you should have just attacked his army with the DT. And yeah, as okay. soon as the scan runs out, send in the next one and then send in the next one. What you can do, of course, if you would have had the pylon out there, you could have had uh, some salads and one DT. So you yes, force. Yeah. So if you if you have two DTs out of the map, one at his at his uh, base, right there at the third base, where he has no turret, which is a bad part on him. He needs to scan there for the planetary to kill the DT, and he needs to scan his army to kill your DT there. And then he's two scans down, which is all he can afford currently. And after that, just warp in more DTs and attack his army and win. Yeah. That that would have been so. So the pilot there. Would have been helped a lot. And now he attacks in. The cell is moving down there. But you are not dealing too bad here. The, okay, his, no, his Vikings. Needed a few more stalkers to take out the rest of the era. Yes. Also, the Probably Vikings realistic. are killing your Colossus. That's yes. unfortunate. So didn't have enough. Didn't have enough. Stalkers. Yes, I think so that's... I have started sending my DTs. To, uh, okay. Again, I should take a post the Yeah, there comes your DTs, but I think it's too late to to make any difference. Ah, I killed your observer as well. <laughs> Yeah, now he kills the DT shrine and then that's game. Okay, yeah, so I see. yeah, game over. Okay, uh, let let's see. Let's go back here. Wait, return to game. Let's see where where he's moving out because you can you can see it. That's what the observer is is meant for. Okay. And I should have seen his liberators as well too, because they were yes. in the observer's range too. At so. least, at least his army should be should be have seen. So, if you see his army and you know, okay, he has tanks, he wants to siege up and hold a position. Uh, what you then need to do is force him to siege where he doesn't want to siege, pull back, and as soon as he unseizes, what you can do is if you see it. Um, click your observer on one of his units, maybe a medivac or a tank or so, so it will follow them everywhere. Oh, can you get an observer to follow an enemy unit, can you? Yes. I didn't realize that. Oh, bugger. It, okay. it should, it, it definitely should. Um, if you have, for okay. example, uh, if, you, if you're playing Zerg and your opponent uh, is Terran, the Zerg sometimes will right-click his Zerglings on a medivac. And they will just yeah. follow the medivac and clump uh, below it, underneath it, so whatever will get dropped will be attacked immediately. And you can do the same thing with the observer and it will follow the army. So that's, if you see it, right click the observer of one of his units, it should follow it everywhere. Yeah, okay. Unless it gets loaded up into a medivac, then... Sure, yeah. Not anymore. No, I'll try to click on the medivac itself is probably the smart thing to do. Yeah. So the other thing, if I saw that army moving out, is if I chucked a couple of probes hidden on the map somewhere, mm -hmm. I would have been able to expand. Because there's another replay I can show you where a dude started to do that. Okay. And I realized it and sent out a probe. And my ninja base was the only thing that won it for me. So ah, I was okay. gone. Yeah, we can, we can do that. Sure. So I make you dare to leader again so you can open the replay okay sorry so i end this replay now yep
think this is it, but I'm not totally sure. We can we can watch it. We can I can, we can fast forward and see what's going on, and then we can. Oh sh go back. No, that's definitely not it. Sorry. No. Okay, then I go back again. Yeah, sorry. Okay, no problem. It's totally fine. So it's PvP, PvP, here we go. I'm thinking currently, if you are not comfortable with the fast expand uh, for your playstyle currently, I mean at some point you will probably need something that will boost your, thank you, um, your economy. Potentially a build that is more aggressive, like where you um, stay on one base for a longer time, be aggressive on his part of the map, and behind that expand could suit your style better, but it needs a little bit of practice. Yeah, okay. Like, like um, there are there are build orders like proxy oracle expand or something like that, or where okay. you go. Where you go for two gateways early on, yep. um, and be aggressive with Salad Stalker, Adept, and you you poke him, you basically annoy him and keep him in his base, and behind that you expand and take your tech. Um, you yeah, just okay. need to pull back early enough. Maybe maybe something like that works better for you. I do mm. like a little bit of Oracle play. Okay. Yeah, this this Protoss, I don't know how good he is to be honest, because his tactic was pretty surprising. I've never seen it before. He was he ended up he spams me with a whole lot of probes, and he what? does that okay. multiple times, but he does it super super fast and early. Okay, that sounds. But as soon as I managed to hold it, I thought I must be miles in front here if I've held. Mhm. Mm well, let's see. See, look at this. He's taken every single one of them. <laughs> oh god. Okay. That's super There's seven, strange. There's 17 probes there. And so I'm going to scout him now. That's I super strange. I don't think I looked at my probe though. And that's the thing. So I saw there was a base there. But I didn't see that 17 probes were missing. Yeah. So again, if I would have looked at my probe. Or looked at his base. I would have been... Jesus, lucky I got that cyber core up in time. Oh, oh yeah, I see. And I think for some, I might start a zealot pretty soon too. Tell me I start a zealot. Oh. Okay. So here I'm just thinking, what the hell is this dude doing? So he has a 16, 17 probes and you have more. Yeah, you have 20. We've got, 20. We've got 22 each, don't we? Yeah, one is, I don't know, maybe, where is your... No, you, currently you have 21. And I've got one scouting. Ah, there it is, perfect. Yeah, so you have 20 at your base, and he has 17 in yours. Basically, you should just win this. Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens here. Right. <laughs> so he attacks this probe. Yeah. Then he breaks in. Ah, he yeah, goes for the pylon. Okay. Yeah, that's smart not... move, and he does manage to get it, and I realise that, so I start dropping some other yeah. pylons around. Okay, the pylon in the back won't power anything. No, and I didn't realise that at the time, but I was just flustered with pressure. Okay. So see, I've sent another probe out here, so mm -hmm. I thought, oh, I'm fucked. So I've sent a probe out thinking I need to save up 400 minerals and start a ninja base somewhere. Normally you should have just won if you A-clicked with all your probes his probes. Um, okay. because you have more probes. So if he doesn't micro his probes properly, you will win. If he does, yep. you might lose. In any case, you should cancel the pylon, which definitely get, before it gets killed, to not waste your minerals. Yeah. So if you, for example, if you throw down four pylons here, you definitely will get the power, but you don't need to spend 300 minerals if they get killed, rather than if you if you cancel, you get 75 back. So you yeah. can save a lot of money by cancelling them in time. And you don't have much to do other than build pilots and cancel them. The rest is just yeah. not not important at all. 
He's really aggressive with his probes, it's so weird. Yeah, I know. This is, he does it again too. So this is where I thought I'll bugger, I've got to win. Ah, yeah, okay, finally. I think he's microwing though, because he ends up beating me, but I've got... My it's zealot close, comes out, yeah. saves the day. The problem here was... I don't, I didn't, I don't think he didn't really micro them, but what happens is your pylon, which he attacks now, blocked your probes. Okay, watch yeah. it, watch it. Yeah. So you have on yeah. the right side now three, four probes derping around instead of attacking, yeah. and he has some as well too. But he gets the slightly better arc. It looks like. It's really close, but they are dropping for so long. In the end, the salad rescues you. Yep. And you are right. I you are. Another one out right you... now. I should have another one being um, chrono boosted out, which I, hopefully I do in a sec. But you can see I've started up my ninja base too. Yes, which is not too bad at all. I mean, it's totally nice because he didn't mine at and, all, and, and you did. Is, he comes back and he spams me again. So you can see he's got a shit ton of probes. Yeah. He spams me again, but he's got no idea. So he thinks I'm in the shit when I'm not quite as bad as what yeah. he thinks. No, even if he now spams the probes, the salad should be more than enough to, to defend that. I mean, salads are really strong yeah. against probes. So at some points, you'll definitely need to take your gases. Yes, I think I was just so bloody um, probes poor. I yeah, so I've taken one now. I don't think I take the other one for a little while. Okay. So I thought, well, I'm probably just going to be stuck making zealots for a little while mm. to defend. Okay. He does it again. Oh my god. Yeah, I told you. And so after the first one, I thought there's no uh, just the idea that he'd do it again. Oh, so <laughs> I made an adept here. And I didn't put him in position. Oh, okay, yeah, right I where see. I should have, so that instead of being protected and just shoot away. Yeah, he's right tailed, out so. there. Yeah, the rally point should have been behind the cyber corner. He's got two front. zealots this time too. Ah, and now you open the gate. Ah, I see. And okay, yeah, you need the hold command. The edits need to be to stay uh, behind the cyber core. Yeah, that would have been way better. And now you are in yep. a lot of trouble. <laughs> in big trouble because he's got a zealot this time and I don't. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, normally you should have won this easily, but those yeah. those mistakes can cost you. Yeah. Okay, at least you have now the the stalker and the stalk the good yeah. thing is and the my stalker. stalker micro is much better than my yes. micro, just the timing on the stutter step. Also, the stalkers are faster than the salads and the probes, so you can basically infinitely yep. uh, micro. Right. Still costs you a lot of time, but. Yep. But I am making up. Yeah, some you. And the, my other the nice, too. the nice thing is that's the thing in this game, you are actually producing probes. In the last yes. game you showed me, you were not that consequent with uh, building probes. But in this, even with your mic, that's what you need to do. While microing, build probes. Even if you don't yeah. make army the whole time, um, which would be ideal, but at least make probes. And this time, and now you're ahead in probes, and again, ah, that's that's not too bad. So the ninja base, I, I like, totally I like. Totally pays off, man. Yes. He has no idea about it too. I mean, he's still on one base, he goes for another gate, and... okay. See, at this point, he thinks I'm in all kinds of trouble, because he just doesn't know about the base. <laughs> so yeah, I'm keep him... build some stuff now. That's that's not bad, yeah. Keep him, keep him in the dark, don't tell oh, him yeah. anything. You've got to play the game, don't you? <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. And so he should... When he does come see my arm, he should know that that's not possible without a base. If he if he pulls the probes again, then so you can see here, I thought he might spam me again, so I've just blocked off. My ah, okay. Completely. What I should have. Oh, yeah, I've got two um, two pylons to power that. That's all right. So I thought here with my army, I thought I'm probably actually ahead of this dude. 
because he yeah. steamed me with all his probes, so I thought his economy must be buggered. It actually is. It has to be. So... Yeah, so I'll, I'll double his supply here. And he moves down the ramp. Oh, big mistake. He still could have potentially won this. Um, if he would have not come down and let like most of your salads move up the ramp and then force field it and then kite and then attack the rest of your army and move across the map then it would have been even again but in this case you just crushed him okay no that's good the ninja base definitely helped you out okay Yeah, the, the rally point of the one gateway. You could have won way earlier. And the yeah. pylon blocked your probes a little bit. But in the end, it wasn't too bad to go for the ninja base. I mean, you had the minerals, you needed some advantage, and he definitely hadn't the probes to scout it. So, it's it's a very, it, it, was, it was definitely smart. I like that. That's really good. Of course, you still need to work a lot of your on your on your macro. I have I have um, pulled out you uh, another link where you have the two gate. I think it's called the two gate expand, where you get the nexus later than normally, but it works. It's it's uh, played by Showtime. It's it's old, I guess, but it should still work. Starcraft didn't didn't change too much, and it can it, it can give you the opportunity to be safe early on, as well to apply pressure to your opponent, while then getting your base up in the rhythm you are you should be used to currently. So it, it shouldn't be too much of uh, adaptation needed on your part. So you can you can uh, later after the session you can try it out, print it out, put it on a second monitor. I don't know. And just okay, and just try it. Maybe it suits you. It's also with a lot of text and explanation down there, so you get a you get an in-depth um, explanation on how the build works, what you should do, what happens, and so on. Unfortunately, there is no replay uh, to watch, so like no video, but it still should should. Be helpful for you. Sweet. Uh, have you got this? You, uh, did I promote you properly? Yep. Perfect. Okay. Sweet. Everything Can't nice. What, what this one is? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, uh, pylon. Where I put my pylon. Yeah. <laughs> Every now and then I forget what I'm doing. I get it wrong. But but it's it's okay that we see it immediately. So. Next time, it shouldn't happen too often. I mean, you are still. It it takes a lot of time okay. to. So this this is I play pretty decent this game. So he did an early scout, and that, and I thought at this point, okay, something's going wrong here. Yes, that's so way I too think early. I drop a couple of gateways here, or I follow him around, and I yeah. See, I send out a second. Something. Yeah. The good thing is you yes, scout I something. Looking, yeah, I go looking to see if he's got some kind of proxy happening. Yes, and if there is no, I mean, if there's no barracks in his base, of course you need to check everything. Also the dark yeah. spots, um, because now you don't know. He could he could fake you out yes. to think you something is coming which actually isn't. But in this case, yeah, it's unfortunate that you pull back the probe yeah. um, like that because so if you would. If, yeah, I mean, you need to fake him out that you go away, otherwise he wouldn't drop the engineering bay. Um, I don't know what this SCV is doing, probably you should have built engineering bay there, to, to for you to not scout it. But at least your probe would have had the chance to go back again at like minute t two. So is the engineering bay, is that on the tech tree to make the planetary fortress? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, see, I didn't know that. So. What I will I will tell you the most 
the, the the best trick to to counter the planetary when when it when it comes. Okay, let's let's watch further. So I do find it before he finishes building it, and see I know something's going wrong. So I know yeah, that's not a side. normal expand. That at least that's. Okay. <laughs> so I think I try to kill his SCV now. Oh uh, yeah. Don't succeed. What you can do there? So I've dropped a couple of gateways there because I know. I'm yes. Shit. Um. What you can what you can do with your probe, if you see his SCV, you need a little bit of practice to click on it. But right now, for example, let's. Yeah. I should wait, be attacking wait, wait, his wait, SCV, wait. not the base. Okay. Um. You see his SCV, and it's not in in his in the building. If it's in the building, yes. it's difficult to click. But if you have the probe, attack, click the SCV. And yep. do a couple of shift attack moves on it, like 10, 15 more. Because okay. as soon as it switches position, goes through the building, your probe now, look at it, it will stop attacking. See, I didn't know that, I thought, because I did click yes. on it. I'm yes. sure so I do. Now See, you attack, attack, I... everything is fine, but now it switches position and the probe can't reach it anymore and you yes, don't have... So and the and the and the command you give the probe is like deleted because it did what it yeah. meant to do but it couldn't anymore so it just stops like any other stupid program which just stops there but if you shift attack it will follow the SCV a couple of times through the building like it will, your probe will move around it but it still will try to attack it yeah. and maybe you would have killed it that way yes that would have been much better yeah Okay, so you you throw down the gateways. I've That's got nice. Some gateways, and I think I even chrono out a few more zealots here. Yes. Okay, um, now he flies it over. And so he I also... still didn't know what he was doing at this point in time. Yeah, I, that's I, super yeah, weird. So I knew something was going wrong, but I didn't really know what his plan was. If he would have been somewhat smart, he would have put in five SUVs from um, back yeah. home into the command center, dropped them. To have instantly counter repair. Yes. Yep. But he didn't. And he lands it. Okay. Not close because, to my mineral life. Yeah, no, he couldn't. But he could attack a lot. And now he normally could counter um, repair it with five SVs, which he doesn't. Yeah, or even just drop a mule. Oh, yeah, he, he does it. But just imagine him having five SVs and the mule repairing the planetary. Would have been potentially a different game because planetary normally counters salads pretty well. But I, th I think, it, yeah, that's his. So his I, I reckon I only lose one of these salads here. Or two, uh, yeah. I lost two. Yeah. But still, yeah. If you would have had those five SUVs, I think the salads you made would have lost. And you would have had a lot of trouble there. Um, you also could have pulled all your probes to kill it, because he is so far behind. Mm, it depends a little bit. But... What you actually should have done. And now, now comes the pro tip. Watch it. I should have put my zealot where he wanted to land. Yes. And that just have... Him from landing, just, it? just, yeah, just have one zealot all the time below, underneath his command center. He can't... Land it, and then that's basically <laughs> it. It's so, yep. so he has a floating command center which can't do anything. That would have been what yep. you want to do. Yeah. That's Didn't the pro proper. Yeah. That's the proper counter to landing buildings. Just don't land. Let them land. Yep. Yeah. So you kill it pretty easily, and he's so far behind. He has a useless upgrade on his own now. You are ahead. I mean, it's interesting that yeah, he, takes he takes the gold, the gold base. base so, yeah, which is a smart move. That's what I sometimes do as well. But I think I might scout this out as well. I think you should have taken the other gold base, but eh. yeah, you're right. You see, this game goes for another twenty minutes, so I obviously stuffed around. Oh wow! Where is your observer? Oh, oh I remember what happens to this guy. <laughs> He sets up bases everywhere and he flies his buildings into the corner. So I basically won it from about 15 minutes onwards, I think. Ah, okay. And he just plays silly buggers and might GG. Ah. That's stupid. 
Okay, yeah, so... Well, it was annoying, but I wasn't gonna let him... Ah, gonna look, observe that observer, observer positioning is better, I would say. Yeah, so that's what I've been trying to do. Uh, yeah. Even a little bit more inside, so I can absolutely see that expo when it goes up. Mm -hmm. I think for the expo it would need to be a little further yeah, above. So I normally, sorry, I do try to put it just inside that... Yeah. That, you know, not halfway up the cliff like that. Normally at some point is um, when you see his, his base uh, getting down, you want to fly one time with the observer in his main base and scout his tech choice. And then you just put it somewhere where you can see his ramp and when he moves out in his army. Wherever that is, normally it's in the natural. Yeah, that's exactly perfect. Yeah, I see. That's better. On that point you are way ahead. And this is normally... Yeah, 20 probes is a little bit, it's not bad, of never bad, um, 10 probes would be ideal in a normal game, but that definitely is not a normal game. Yeah. So, yeah. So this would be normally the probe count you want to have against the Terran, be 10 probes yeah. ahead. Of course you need bases, look at your minerals, throw down a nexus, 4 gateways. You are on three gateways just, that's the thing, if you would have been on seven gateways now, because your bases are saturated, you could spend all your money. You could, and, and that's the thing, if you are on seven gates at two bases with one robo, maybe six with two would be better. Because two robotics are expensive, then maybe two ga uh, six gates, maybe even five, it depends on your spendings, for you I would say six. Um, yeah. But then you have the opportunity either... Um, you skip one cycle to get the next base, or you cycle and go up to 200 supply or 160 and go for a two base attack. Those those are the possibilities you open yourself. And yeah, you get that base. So easily. I scouted that and I've taken the other gold myself. <laughs> I, I like it. Okay, that's and not I bad. And I think I end up taking this second gold too. Okay. So if you take if you take a gold base, you definitely need to throw down a lot of gateways and just pump out a lot of units. The gold base, the, if you take the gold base, it's normally meant to spam salads or edits on mass, because you get so many minerals if you saturate it. Normally, what you could do now, okay, you don't have the chrono boost, the energy for oh, you have the energy on the nexus. You could just Recall all your probes or a lot of probes from your main base, like half of them, to your gold base. Yeah. You could. You can also just send them over, but if you want to be sneaky, you would use recall. Yep. Uh, and then you have so much income, which you can't spend if you don't have the gateways. On three gateways with the gold base, that's way too less. Yeah. You'll go up to 12. See, I've got d double robos here at the moment. Yeah. Three gateways, so that's a big mistake. And I should really have some more charge gates. lots as well. Yeah. It's interesting that he still can manage to get a decent army. But you can just crush him. Yeah. Unfortunately, you don't have blink. And if I had a whole lot of charge slots there, I'll put yes. myself a lot easier than I did. <laughs> exactly. I do have the extended. Because this fight, you shouldn't win as close as it, as it was. Normally you should have really, really crushed him. But for that you need to have blink and charge. Accidentally left the bloody Colossus behind. Yeah. Which is an expensive mistake to make, almost. Okay. But you see what the gold base is doing for you. You have so many minerals now that you can't really I'm spend. Throwing down a whole lot more gateways at least. Yes, you can. You can go I'm up to to attempt. twelve gateways. Oh, some yeah. now. <laughs> so obviously thought I was a long way ahead when I started sending ETs to. Mm. Ah, so I've done a bit of scouting here as well. I thought he must have another base going. Yes, he has, but on sneaky ninja base. Yeah, that's nice. Exactly. Force out the scans. Oh! <laughs> Three scans. That that was that was money. Yeah, well, so now you have charge. Yeah, and you could go up for three three upgrades as well. 
There you go. Yeah, so I've got some more gateways now to. Okay. I think you should just crush him now. See, I've got a whole lot of probes. I didn't realize that I'd run out of base, which is good stuff up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so many, taken, many DTs. He keeps taking these external bases, though. He's got ninja bases everywhere. Yeah, I see. Well, and that is what keeps him in the game. So now just you've got that. that. So I should have sent an event. Yeah. Mm. But anyway, my army seems more powerful than him. Yeah, your army is really, really strong now. He can't real he can't he can't deal with it. Unless he would make massive mistakes, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We got a war prison to back up, so Yeah, perfect. Easy. I think I've got good upgrades. 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, that's awesome. The best you can get. Okay, he moves out, loses, yeah. So this is where he just starts being silly. Like the game's one, he's got 23 supply and he just starts flying bases around and he GG's mm. but he won't actually surrender. Yeah, I see, that's annoying. So it just takes me a few minutes to just look around the map because he keeps as I yeah, I see. The but end, it's actually, basically the game. Yes. So you need them. Annoying. Yeah. Okay. Well, I might get out of there then, if that's okay. Of course. Um, where's some I got? Uh, Got a Zerg game. You want to see a Zerg game from this week? Yeah, we can watch a, another game and then let's let's see what we can do for Zerg here. Okay. Okay, that wall off is way better. Yeah. Especially against potential circlings. So you scout that he's not going pool first. That's nice. Right now yep, you so already as know. As expand. Yeah. If so the expand as soon as I saw is. That, I thought there's no no aggression here. Yes. So if his base is halfway done with your probe. Uh, moving in, then you know, no aggression for now. That's good. That's also nice for you. That he attacked your probe and you didn't lose it. Yeah. Interestingly, he doesn't take gases, so that's strange. Yeah. Jeez. I don't know what he's doing there. Now he takes the gas, that's late. Okay. Yeah, at least, uh, so the scouting is really, really helping you out. At some point it will yeah. definitely win you games and currently it doesn't harm you that much with your economy, yeah. so that's totally fine. Yeah. And I mean, I, that last replay we watched, I definitely would have lost that if I hadn't scouted. Okay. So let's see what's happening. So this dude's not spent his I don't think he's too too. Yes, he has. He he definitely should should spend his money. Actually, I think this guy just spams heaps of zerglings and goes to zerg. Okay. Well, what you definitely should do: all those buildings should be right there. Against zerg, you want to have a second wall off. At your natural. Yep. Um, the same 
same way you have in the main base with one adapt salad whatever in the in the uh, doorway so yep. that you can because if now what he's doing if he if he would attack you with 30 circlings the base is gone right yep. but if you have a wall off then you can hold it potentially at least way better than it's currently the case yeah so against Zerg always have the second wall off and for that you you put you should you should um, watch on YouTube some some PVCs I think I do start a second wall off here See what ah I'm yeah that's good so I, I, I don't know if I get a complete wall off but I do put a few buildings there to at okay. least create a choke yes but it's it's important with the timing later on those buildings you have in your main base back there should be in the yep. wall So, do we have an observer? Yeah, there it is. And you can see I'm sending some stalkers just to have a look around, because I know that dudes like to put their, uh, their mm -hmm. overlords there sometimes. Yep. Whether I know this is And you say you are losing this game? No, no, I win this one. Okay. So I was I wondering. It's very good. So I've got that observer in a decent spot this time too. Yep. So no. look at his also. So he's obviously not. Yeah. He is he has way too much minerals banked up. I mean, if I've got two bases saturated, he should have at least three. Bases. Yeah. I'm still looking for things we can. So there is your double fortress. You are supply capped, okay? That's yeah, not nice. Forges on the hot key with my nexus, like you told me to. Is actually good. It should it should help you, especially if you yeah. if you are playing. Where is it? Where is the forge? Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, this Zerg was not playing well. I mean, he look nah, at this. <laughs> five thousand minerals. So. That's that's. But if those five thousand minerals would have been spent, you would be in a lot of trouble. Oh, big time, big time. This is that's that's the difference, and that's why I say money doesn't win you the game. It's nice if you have a bank when you are maxed out, but unless you are maxed out you want to keep your, your money as low as possible. Yeah, so that's not really a wall in you have in your in your natural. No, that's no good. But I think in this game it doesn't really matter. And also your upgrades, I mean you have Soon 2-2 two, two against whatever he got, 1-1, one, 1-0. One, one, I think you'll just move across the map and potentially then just kill him, right? Yeah. Because I had my observer here, so and the thing is I didn't see those swarm posts, so that was one thing that did very well. Okay. Um, I do manage to sort it out later, but he's a bit too late with those two. Like, you can see him moving out, but they're really passive. Yeah. So I'm actually across the map, I think, by the time he tries to take out the third base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. But you can't just win from that, I don't so Exactly. So yes, he's got his squad post now. Yes, but I he doesn't get it, so... No, he just gets a few probes. I think I'll do a bit of a... So I don't have an observer. Hmm. Say Barry again. But I... No, that's totally wrong. Yeah, against the Zerg there is not much to do. Um no. just just have so... the wall off at the natural as well. And try to keep your pro production on point. In this game it wasn't that bad. So that's that's good. 
Um, the saturation. Yeah. So that's my week in StarCraft. Pretty good. I've gone from third tier to first tier silver. Next will be Gold League 3. Yes. So my plan for this week is to try to get that expo going a bit quicker. Yeah, maybe maybe as I said, try out the build I showed you. If it if yep. it Oh, what I can show you. Um <laughs> Okay, let's do one last thing which definitely should help you um before we close this off. Sure. Yeah. Um let me see. I don't know if it works. I haven't done it for a long time. Custom Neely Mm, can you can you promote me to to lobby uh, host at least? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what you do is you go on custom, go yeah. on melee below lobbies arcade melee. Choose any any map, for example blue shift, and then go on create with mod. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then you you search for salt. And there is a salt mod, salt 4.1 currently. And then you create the lobby. Which I'm doing right now for you. Yep. Just to see if it works for me. I don't know if you will see it. We can if if I make it work for me, then we can we can uh, watch it if it works for you as well. And then you just start the game. And let me see. Okay. There are some steps, but but it isn't too difficult, and you should get it, and it definitely should help you. So you have that. Maybe it works. Maybe we can try it out. Let's see. Mm. Because the game won't just start, it will initialize the map. Like that. Yep. Okay. And then we go on to menu. Yep. Build orders. Okay. Import a build order. And what you then do, you go to the website I showed you. Yep. And there is something saying get salt encoding. Where you click oh, on it. Yes, I remember seeing that and wondering what salt is. So, yes. Okay. And then you copy and then and then you copy it um, into that, say done, then you have the build order implemented, then you choose the deacon, in this case uh, Protoss. Yep. And the game starts for you. So you need on your side also play Protoss for example. Yep. After you have implemented the build order. And then it shows you what to do. Bam. Then you just play normally. Your, your probes, it should start and you should on the left side have your build order. So I just can't see the build order I'm afraid. Okay, you can't see it. Um, no problem. We can, we can, we switch it. Let's just switch. I make you to the host and you do the steps and see if it works. So I promote you to the leader. And then you just go yourself into custom, melee, create with mod salt. So do I get out of this game now? Is yep, that... yep, yep. You started fresh. And that's the, f the good thing, it works with every build order, I guess, um, done on this website. So you can practice that, you don't need to print it out, you don't need to have the second monitor. You also have this, this voice which tells you what to do. Are you still in the game? Yeah, sorry, I stuffed up, I hit restart instead of... Oh, okay. Yes. So we go to custom, go to melee, create with mod, and type in salt and search for it. 4.10 needs to be the version.
perfect. And then we just start the game. As soon as I'm in the lobby. There we go. Okay. So let's see, it loads and then we go on to menu. Oh, I don't have it. Okay, but you wait, do I have it now? Yeah, now I have it. Build orders, import a build order, copy it, done. And then you should have the build order right on the left side. Okay. Do you have it? Do you see the build order? No. No? No. Do you have... Have you actually got Overwolf running? Did I... For me it works. Did you copy the whole link? No, sorry. I didn't have any link to copy. Yeah, if you go on the website and click oh, on Get sorry. Salt Encoding, then it shows oh, you the sorry. link, and this I is what you need to co uh, to copy. I thought you were just talking me through it. You didn't actually want me to do it. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to open this stuff up very quickly now. Yes. So that you can see how it works, and then you have it yourself. That's that's why I stick with you through it. No problem, it's fine. So this is Showtime's two gate expand, get some yep. coding. Yes. And then you copy the you copy it. Go back to StarCraft, build orders, import. Yes. Okay. Do we have there it now? It yes, so can yes. you see that? Can you? Yes, and now you can basically play it and it will tell you what to do, when to do it, and you can follow it through and practice it as often as you want. So how do you start the game? Yeah. Um, you did click on both decals, so it wouldn't ah, so start. so it's too late, is it? So okay, you so can, you load the you can... order and then you click on the decals, Yeah, you? normally you play versus one AI, for example. We can restart yep. now. Um, if you have someone else to play, then you play against him. So if I, if I choose a decal now and you choose one, then it should start. So if you if you take so and then you have it and it should tell you do -do -dums, after the first probe is done it should tell you build a pylon and so on. So yeah, warp in a pylon. There you go. Yes. Warp in a gateway, warp in a simulator, do this, do that, research, blah, blah, blah. And that's that's how you can practice any build order out of spawning pool, which has the uh, salt encoding. And you can practice it as often versus AI, or even versus um, other player as well. Wow, that's awesome. That definitely should help you. Nothing like that herbal cue to just tell you what you need to do, hey? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's awesome. Man, I better let you go, because we've been going for a while. Yeah, it was a nice session, I guess. I hope it helped you. Mate, that was really good. Um, I need to buy some more through Gamer Sensei, but I'd like to keep going, if that's cool with you. This has been really good and really helpful to me. Of course. I'm very pleased to help you out as long as I can. Awesome. All right. Well, mate, I'll see you later and I'll organize a time in the next couple of days for uh, next weekend. Perfect. So best of luck in letter and have a good one.
terrific you too thanks alex cheers mate bye hey oh there thank you for watching if you'd like to support me simply hit the thumbs up button do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day, take care, bye bye. Thank you.